So all the kids cheered and ran up. Alright, I'm sweaty. Good seeing you again. Jour de ga. Jour, jour de ga. Jour de ga. Jour de ga. Is that no? Is that good? Jour de ga. No? That's not right? Oh, wait, hold on. Come on. I'm, I'm trying to say Jour de ga. Jour de ga. Uh, oh yeah! Oh, I thought I had it wrong. I thought I was wrong. Jodega. How do you say it? You said. Jodega. Jodega. Yeah. That is great. Yeah. Yeah. So we have some sand here. Getting stuff done. Animals. Animals only. Oh my gosh. Okay. So in here <laughs> we have communities. They they might hear about hospital. Yeah. Never be in the hospital. Never go to hospital. No, never. But even like the way people treat the animals, 
so it's so amazing. It's yeah. like human. Yeah, yeah. So if you better hit someone in the state, don't hit uh, an animal. <laughs> so kind of. <laughs> and he said he's on, he been to the states three times. So I was trying to understand uh, if his shock was the same, and it's the same. You know, I come here, and I'm surprised that it's a completely opposite, different world. You know, exactly, exactly. And this is exactly where I came up when I head back the first time I visited the uh -huh. US uh -huh. on Facebook, and I said I realized that. Haiti and USA are two extreme. It's like the world, but you have the two extreme. Yeah, two extreme. If you if you born in Haiti and you never visit the US, mm -hmm. you, you don't know about you know, you don't know. Yeah. And I said it's the same thing too. Someone is born in the US mm -hmm. and you never come to visit Haiti. Yeah. You 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 miss something in yeah. your life. Because you can see it on video on TV. Two yeah, but it's not the same when you come. When you come here, it's totally different than when you see it on video. Uh, exactly. It's, it's not the same at all. Um, yeah, most people they should, they will, you know, they go videotaping or take picture where the worst part uh -huh. of Haiti, uh -huh. especially in Port Prince, where like most of people they stay. Yeah. Um, and this but, area is called what? Yeah, we in the north side of Port-au-Prince right now okay. by the coast okay. where we have like beautiful beach uh -huh. hotel resorts uh -huh. you know as you can see they are very nice part of here yeah mountains yeah very unique and they have other parts you know? with no mountains and it's like really really bad but not because they don't have mountains but yeah. people the way people are living no infrastructure too many people they're not working trash everywhere yeah so people will post those pictures yeah but they won't go to mountain to pictures to see the beauty of the country. yeah show the beauty in the country so hopefully you know i know i'm, I'm going to portray the country uh the country's beauty because i think that's very important but the most beautiful thing is these kids smiles and i've been like my cheeks have been hurting playing and interacting uh with the kids and um i'm so thankful for this guy he's been definitely taking care of us yeah. You know, uh, translating and taking us around. He's our Uber. <laughs> <laughs> He's everything. Uber, security, translator, you know, friend. He's been working with us. But, uh, yeah, so it, it's been a, a great experience, man. I'm having a great time. So we're going to go pick up the kids right now. And we're going to exactly. go take them. Take them to the beach. Take them to the beach. Something special for them. Because yeah. they don't get used to them. Yeah. yeah. How often do you, do you think they go? Um... Maybe once every two years, every three years. If, like once, once every two or three years? Yeah, if, like it's random. Like if one group like you guys come and you decide to take them out, then okay. So we, I got my friend Jeff, we used to take them out uh -huh. for ice cream, but not to the beach, you know? Uh, so we got ice cream for them. I'm so happy to, yeah. to you know, to hopefully like, put some smiles on their faces. Exactly. And uh, we got candy for them. And we're gonna take them to the beach, y'all. So let's go have some fun and see these beautiful children. What just happened? <laughs> this is the boys' truck, and then that's the girls over there. <laughs> so the boys' truck versus the girls' truck. <laughs> they all ready, got their bags ready. We're gonna have a good time at the beach. I'm gonna jump in the back with the boys. Beach, 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 beach. beach. <laughs>
So exciting, so good. I love it already. Just the excitement that they have. And then you've seen the beach yet. And uh, look how well behaved. <laughs> and they listen because it's such a, a rare occasion for them. They live on the island, but they never go to the beach. It's crazy. It's crazy. I'm excited it's happening today, though. But you know, it's happening today. A live crab, yeah. Just got out the water. Man, such a great time, man. I'm gonna update y'all later on um, how this day has been going. But, uh, man, I don't know. I love y'all. Appreciate y'all life. Appreciate your life. Live it to the fullest, man. We all have one life. Live it to the fullest. Thank God. Acknowledge God. You're blessed. I don't care what's going on with you. You're blessed. You have such a good life. These kids over there, they haven't got out the pool yet. Out the water, I say pool. They haven't got out the water yet. It's such a great feeling, man. The energy is so strong. And I'm so thankful to God. Thank you, God. Yeah. Stop complaining. Appreciate your life. Stop complaining. Appreciate your life. Video. Yeah, video. God bless hey, you, my brother. Me too, my brother. Yeah, man. Have, man. Appreciate it, man. Love you, bro. Yeah, me too, man. So, it, man. you got a kid? Yeah, I got two boys. Two boys? How old? 27. No, six, five years old, seven months. Seven months. Man. One boy, one girl. Number success and happiness for you, my brother. Thank you, my brother. Love you, man. See you later.
uh, one word, exhausting. Tired. Boy, tired. <laughs> Out all day, and um, and I just experienced one day of what the people at the orphanage and people in the community have to experience. And once again, shout out to all the Haitian people. Uh, today was uh, was really good. We got to painting the kids doing a wall outside, as you saw. Um, got to hang out with the kids. Uh, <laughs> the kids were, you know, holding the camera, playing with the camera, vlogging. Got the generator covered. As you saw, protect for you know the rain, help uh, protect that uh, that big piece of uh, equipment that is needed for the electricity. Um, and then the best part, I took the kids to the beach, and I asked uh, the oldest, uh, McKinson. How long has it been since he's been to a beach? And he said it's been two or three years. Mind you, this is an island. The beach is like right there. And they don't go to the beach. And you know, we travel across the country, we get on airplanes and we go to the beach whenever we want, a lot of us, you know? So it's something that, you know, another thing that we we can take for granted, but Situations like this where these kids, they, as you saw, man, on the ride, it was like chanting beach, 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 beach. It was dancing, having a good time. It's, uh, it, was, it was unreal. It was surreal. It didn't seem like this is something that uh, happens or it doesn't happen. But the kids had a great time, man. I was in the water, you know, after I turned the camera off, you know, because it's not a waterproof camera. So I had to put the camera down at the end. A lot of shots of them having a blast, having a good time. I was picking up the boys, throwing them, dunking them. <laughs> it was laughing, having a good time. It was all in like this little shallow water, so it wasn't anything bad. It was a perfect day to go to the beach, have a good time. The guys at the beach, they, they definitely are, are hustlers. <laughs> the crab sellers, the, the boat rides, the jet ski guys, the, the shell guy, the paintings, the, uh, yeah. And uh, I filmed one of them because he, you know, he was telling me a story and, you know, I know he was hustling, he was doing his thing, you know, he telling a story over and over, I get it, but I was looking past that. I don't care if he was trying to, trying to get one over, or trying to befriend me, but not really want to be, you know, a friend, just, it's a business deal. Everybody trying to get some money, so, you know, throw him a little seven. Hopefully, uh, he could do whatever he need to do with it. Uh, yeah, the kids had uh, ice cream, they had candy, they had uh, juice, and <laughs> stuff that they probably, <laughs> probably didn't need. I don't know how to think about it, but, you know, give them something that it, it don't hurt. Uh, you know, candy and, and ice cream and stuff like that every now and then. You know, it's all out of love. You know, it's going to give them a, a different experience from the day-to-day -day stuff that they experience. So we did the beach. Uh, the kids dressed up. They had their backpacks. They brought a soccer ball. We got the soccer ball inflated. Uh, we went and got snacks, got cookies, and and juices, and for everybody. Uh, Got coconuts, chopped the thing off, you know, drank coconut juice, ate the coconut, you know, fruit or meat or whatever it is. <laughs> and um, today has just been a success. Today has been a really great day. Thank you to my Kingston, you know, the oldest at the orphanage. I love it out here though. It's beautiful. You talking about the view? It's like a postcard, it's like a screensaver, the whole nine. Uh, it's definitely been super relaxed and super peaceful. I took a lot of pictures, sent them home to my beautiful wife friends, my family, everybody I could think of, my phone, I'm like, oh, look how beautiful, look how happy the kids are, they have so much joy, so much peace, and it's not about having things, it's about having experiences, and, and hugging, and touching, and, and being nice to people, so that's all God told me to do here, is just to love, and to be happy, and be nice, and be peaceful, be positive, 
you know, and not get distracted like by all this extra stuff that goes on, the politics. Cause you go on and on about you know negative negativity, but we gonna focus on this love out here in Haiti. This this country is beautiful, beautiful. So the hotel we at, it's a lot of tourists. They have a lot of mission, uh, a miss, They have a lot of missions here, and I'm just here in support of one particular mission, and that's the mission of trying to bring love and be there for these kids in any way possible. And that's what God told me to do, and I'm here. And being here has definitely changed me, has definitely affected me, my, my view on things, my, it, it's, it's blown my mind on how things are done. But at the root of it, we're all doing this, going through the same things. We're going through the same things, it's just particulars. Oh, I choose to, you know, take a shower in my, you know, shower, in my bathtub, or whatever, and out here, they, they take a shower in a different way. With water, bucket, and, you know, all types of ways. I've seen them in the canals, you know, have showers at the oven. They have a shower, they just don't have water, and they just fill up a you know reservoir, and they could get water to come temporarily until they run out. And just like if you don't pay your bill, your water bill, they're going to cut that joint off. So it's just they have the ability to go get their water and trek it and walk and, yeah. You know, they don't have street lights and all that, you know, there's rough roads and we think we have bad roads and bad buildings and no, a lot of the buildings are considered, you know, unstable, they're not straight, they, they're tin and uh, they're not elaborate and over the top. Of course, they do have spots where they do have a little bit nice, I haven't seen it yet, we're supposed to go tomorrow to uh, the heart of port, Port-au-Prince, like more of the city area, downtown, I guess. So, I don't know. So. I'm still excited, still going along this journey, this adventure, being out here away from my family. Uh, I always talk to my kids, I always talk to my wife, giving her updates, checking on them, making sure they're good, because, um, you know, being around all these kids that uh, don't have their parents, uh, you know, it definitely makes me think about my kids a lot, because they're all about the same age as Jerry and Jordan, so they hit close to home for me, and I'm thankful to to be here, to have the resources to come here, to have the the energy, the health, the everything. I'm still fine. Nothing has happened to me. I've been safe. I've been protected. I haven't lost anything. Um, it's been an amazing experience, and I highly recommend it to anybody that's thinking about traveling to a third world country. Don't be scared. Uh, go with confidence. Go with love in your heart and fear doesn't stay in the same place as love. Yes. Mm -hmm. I'm happy to bring you all on this journey. Stay tuned. Check the link in the description down below if you want to try to help in any kind of way. You're helping by watching this video. A lot of uh, the kids uh, will appreciate prayer. They'll appreciate, you know, uh, your kind words via... They might not see it, but it's still putting good things into the atmosphere. And um, any way you can help... Uh, any other way, check down below, and I'm sure we'll have something, some kind of way for you to help contribute to show love. So, I appreciate y'all great vines, and uh, I'm going to see y'all again tomorrow with more excitement and more seeing what this beautiful country, Haiti, has in store. Haiti, we made! <laughs> love y'all. Peace. My pretty girl. Oh, my, my pretty girl. Oh.